Welcome back. This is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about electromagnetic frequencies and infertility in men, or basically radiation from electronic products, right? So we have EMF impact on male fertility. So let's go over different things here. Cell phones have a range of 0.9 to 2.5, uh, 2.45 gigahertz. So what is a hertz? Hertz is a wavelength for a cycle. So one hertz is one wavelength through one second, right? So if we have this, when we say gigahertz, we're talking about a billion hertz per second, okay? When we talk about cell phone towers, right? We're talking about megahertz and they're giving off 800 to 1900 megahertz, which is basically 1 million hertz per second. So wireless uh, devices or, or Wi-Fi, 2.4 hertz. And now these numbers are changing, right? They're getting bigger and faster. Laptops are 300 to uh, 10 megahertz. Uh, TV signals, 50 to 700 megahertz. Microwave, 2.4 hertz, uh, gigahertz. And then now we have 5G. Now look at the numbers here. 5G is 28 to 39 gigahertz, a billion hertz, right? And then look what it was before, 2.45 hertz or gigahertz. Now we're looking at this as 10 times or 15 times stronger in, in their cell phone signals. Now, when we have these hertz, right, a billion wavelengths through a second, then the penetration into the tissue will be stronger, right? So these wa uh, wavelengths, basically electromagnetic frequencies, will start to impact the brain. So in men, the anterior pituitary, right, is the master control center for hormone production or signaling to um, organs that produce hormones. So what, what will it do? It will increase LH and FSH, which will change testosterone levels and what we call sp spermatogenesis, production of sperm. So the fact that you have all these wavelengths impacting the brain, you see those people that have their cell phone on their head all the time, walking around all the time, right? Or they have Bluetooth speakers impacting the brain all the time. So when you look at this, it has an impact on brain function affecting hormones and sperm production. What does it do? It will decrease sperm count. Sperm motility will also go down. Sperm morphology, or basically the shape of the sperm. And then the antioxidant reserves, because your body's under stress from all these waves, it has to use these antioxidants uh, to combat that. So it's very important not to use cell phones and all the time near your head. Number two, you should not put it in your front pocket very close to the genitals, right? Because you're getting direct waves through that area. So the ideal thing is to keep it off your body, right? Or if in your car away from you on the passenger side. And then at night, you want to turn off your Wi-Fi signal. So what we do in our house is we have a timer and our Wi-Fi just cuts off at a certain time and turns back on at a certain time. So you don't want to have Wi-Fi signals constantly going through the house, right? And then obviously, you know, there are TVs, laptops, microwave usage. If you're going to use your microwave, turn it on and get in the other room, right? And then if you're going to use your laptop, don't put it on your lap, right? Because you're getting direct signals there and, and, to, the, and to the generals. So you want to have it on a desk and so forth. Unfortunately, this is the future, right? They're using wireless systems uh, for internet and, and, and cell phones and etc. But you have to minimize the impact of this. Now, there's many um, products out there that might help to minimize uh, uh, frequencies. Uh, and you could certainly do the research. But what I'm telling you is you want to be able to minimize these things and don't live next to a cell phone tower, right? Uh, if they're building a cell phone tower right next to your house, 
I, I don't know what to tell you, but certainly don't buy a house next to a cell phone tower. Now, all this will obviously impact the brain and the genitals. Therefore, male infertility will go up and likely will go up even further in the future because of uh, the technology that's available right now and the increase in signaling. So when 5G becomes readily available, we don't know. We don't know what it, the impact, the true impact will be on, on health overall, okay? My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.